Hello everyone, in this video we are going to talk about the famous sport in Ireland, hurling. We're going to talk about some history of it and some different rules and how it connects different generations. Now we go to focus on Gaelic football history and his rules. So the Gaelic football is the most popular sport of Ireland today. When we watch the game, it's very similar to rugby, just with a soccer ball. We can say that it's a mix between rugby and football, but in reality is less violent because of his rules. For example, the taco is not authorized. And the rules are simple. There are more liberty for players, especially for attackants. It's an amateur sport, so each person can only play on one team for his life, the team of his county. Let's go more in details uh, in the history of this sport. The first mention uh, of football in Ireland starts in 1308. The Gaelic football is officially allowed in 1527 with the term of CAD. The rules are modified many times but the last modification until now is since 1887. Today the GAA, Gaelic Athletic Association, manage this sport. So I'm gonna present Gaelic football. Gaelic football is one of the most popular sports in the entire island. The game has two teams with 15 e players each. Players need to score the highest points than the opposite team at the end of the time. The game is also played on the field. This sport is sort of like a mix between different sports. It looks like rugby but it uses a football. And the cage looks like a mix between a football cage and the rugby crossbars. There are two ways to score. By kicking the ball into the goal which will win 3 points or kicking the ball between the two crossbars which will win 1 point. The rules are quite complicated. Players can kick the ball or pass the ball. They can also run around the field with the ball. But once they reach their fourth step, they will need to do a solouette if they want to be able to keep it. Solouette can be performed when players hop the ball on their feet, then catch it with their hands. They can also be performed by simply bouncing the ball on the ground, but they can't do it two times in a row, so players often play around with these two moves. Players can catch the ball in the air with their hands or passing them with hand passes, fisting, but players can't touch the ball while they're on the ground, nor passing the ball with a throw. If the players don't follow the rules, there will be consequences, like a foul. A foul can get the opposite team a free kick, which players can score by shooting the ball into the goals, or in the middle between the two crossbars. Or a penalty, which is a close range shoot from the cage, same as football, but when the foul gets worse, players who perform the foul will get a red card or a yellow card, similar to football. The sport looks complicated, but once we understand the rules, it becomes fun to watch, which is the case for the Irish people. The sport is old, but new as well, which connects the different generations when they watch their favorite sport together. Every year, different generations sit together to watch the Gaelic football champions league. He got a boot in the head, and you're not looking at it. He got a boot. He's on the camera, and you can't miss it. And the referee is looking around and acting as Mickey. Get him, right? And the game is over. I love this event. I love Johnny Jamieson and anybody else. What a victory! Oh, mother God, there'll be a big night in the lane.